Hello. I am just grabbing a drink and stuff because I have literally just finished work. So I closed my laptop, turned off Messenger, signed out of everything, and then started the stream. in search of coffee <laughs> so I don't actually know where I was going to go next so we've done Nito we've done Better Chaos and we've done Seath that leaves us with the woods New Londor I think we should go back to the asylum. Seems like a good plan. We shall find out what's going on in the place we left behind. I bet it's all gone to shit. But yeah, I am uh, a bit tired after work. So I expect some pretty scuffed fights today. <laughs> Did I get off the right bit? Yeah, I did. So, what's everybody else been up to today then? Anything interesting? Or have you all just been having a lazy Saturday? I know Alex was streaming earlier because I was sat there watching it while I'm working. Is there anything down that way? Nah, there isn't. The stairs just break, don't they? up here and pretend to be an egg just like Bart <coughs> now we're going to wait for this to decide it wants to work Here we go. So we shall head back to the asylum and see what's going on here. Plop. Yeah, we'll be back to Anor Londo at some point. After we dealt with this place, actually. Four. Now 
these guys don't even bother me anymore. They do so little. But yeah, return to the asylum. Because there's a couple of things we need to get from here. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. So we shall rest here. So we've got a spawn point, and then... Oh look! He wasn't here before. One of the fancy knights. Hmm. And I still keep clinking off the wall. And we got his sword as well. Sword's pretty cool. Black Knight Sword. Great sword used to the Black Knights who wander Lordran used to face chaos demons. The large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. So I can't use it effectively because you need a bunch more. I think it's dex for it. But it is a cool looking sword. All right, Dave, you sexy beast, you. But I am probably going to splat most of the things in here. Because you usually go back here much earlier than I have. No, look, there's a person. You might remember him for the beginning of the game. He's fat rolling. Um, I don't know. I might stick with this. Like, this weapon is pretty beefy. Plus, you get innate magic resistance with it. So the hard dragon tooth will never break, as it's harder than stone, and will grant its wielder resistance to magic and flame. That comes in pretty handy. And then the shield we just got. Shield of a nameless light knight, likely a high ranked knight of Astora. One of the enchanted blue shields, the crest greatly reduces magic damage. And if you look at that, it drops 80% of magic damage. It's pretty handy if you have to come across casters at any point. So now we go. This way. don't think there's anything in here, is there? No. So yeah, the Black Knight Halberd is a, a crazy weapon. Like, the damage on it is massively overtuned for the stats that you need to wield it. And it's really easy to get upgrades for as well. It's also got a massive attack range compared to everything else. There. And now we have two guys in here. Oh, I didn't reach. There. And now we have the key to this door. And this leads us to this item that we never got last time, which is the rusted iron ring. And this is... Ah, uh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I always played Dark Souls 3 yesterday, I've confused all the buttons now. So, this iron ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. So you know when you're moving through water and through the swamp and everything, especially in the bottom of um, Blight Town, like the swamp at the bottom, and it slows your movement, that ring removes the, removes the movement penalty. 
And now we head back this way. Like if you fancy because you can just come straight back here after going to Firelink Shrine. So if you want that ring early in a playthrough, you can just come back and grab it. You've just got to deal with that one Black Knight, like pretty much straight away. Right, what were we looking for? Oh yeah. Back to our cell. Because if I remember right, there should be something left in there behind another Black Knight. And yeah, these guys still do a fair bit of damage, despite me being crazily over leveled for this area. I say over leveled. And we got another sword and another chunk. And then you have that guy down there. We will be dealing with him shortly. Or trying to anyway. Because he is one of the demon fights I am really bad at. But we came back here for this. A peculiar doll. And it will be a key item I think. There it is. A strange doll in a strange dress. There was once an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. And that painted world is back in Anor Londo. But first we're going to deal with this guy. Or try to. I will probably get my ass kicked by him. I usually do. But yeah, we will do the Painted World, and then I think I'm going to do the second DLC after the Painted World. And then do the rest of it, because there is a fancy cutscene you get. If you do the Painted World before you do... So the Painted World, if you do the DLC before the rest of the game. Mm. Yeah, the fall damage is a pain. These guys are also a pain. Right. Um, Whoa, he was closer than I thought he was. And yeah, splattered straight away. But now the hole is open. Oh, well, I know whereabouts the hole is, so. We will do it this way instead. There we go. Now. Oh, I'm doing a decent amount to him. Right, this is the big explosion thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, this guy is nowhere near as bad as he used to be. I say that and then get immediately hit in the face. And this is going to be another explosion in it. Uh, good old fashioned butt stomp. We like that. This could be the big explosion, is it? Yeah. And now. Hit him in the arse. Oh, this is going to be another pop. 
Alright, I'll stomp his fight. The two clots then. Well, I'm right against the wall. stuck in a corner, I really don't want to be here. Get around him a bit. There we go. And you're mine. There we go. That guy gave me loads of trouble first time round. And he gave us an item. A toy knight slab. That'll let us fully upgrade another weapon. Is there anything else in here? I always forget. So that is the asylum done with. We can now head to... The painted world, which means going back to Anor Londor. Where was the way out of here? Am I being dim? Follow the edge of the room and see. That guy gave you loads of puts on glasses. Trouble base. <laughs> nice. Ah, there's a ladder. Right, off we got here. So you go into that corridor, is there anything around this way? I do like the echoey effect with this, in this room as well. There. Go into this corridor. And now... We can make our way back to... An Ormondo. Everybody's favourite city. Yeah. It would be more like a loud clang or something. Right, so, uh, do we have enough for a level? Maybe. Do I have any souls I can use? I do. I've got a fair few. Right. Uh, put this weapon away that I picked up, or the shield I should say, and the two swords that I picked up. So much stuff. What the hell's the Black Knight Swords got? Right there. Right. Let's pop one of these items, see if I can't grab a level. Right there. Strength is at 50, so it's all about health now. Health and stamina eventually. And now, can I walk from here? I can. Let's go straight to Anor Londor. And our Londo is still dark because we broke the illusions and stuff. So painted world is this way. Down the elevator. Now is the big elevator still where we want it or am I going to have to do the stupid run across the balcony again. The balcony. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, 
we're gonna have to go and see some friends. So, uh, you up? Because we gotta go this way. Almost a fat roll. There, get back splattered. It's not really a backstab. There. See, if I'd have been thinking ahead, I'd have moved the elevator back up when. I did Gwendolyn, but I wasn't because I'm a Muppet. So now I've got to go this way instead. There. I have enough stamina that they're never going to mess me up with the knives. I've just got to not actually get hit. Try and poise through them all. Right, you're actually going to come for me, you're just going to throw knives forever. There. Made it. Take this off now. Go back to a normal roll and... Back in the pretty land of Anor Londor with the moonlight. Come on, carry on moving. There. And we are going to make our way ourselves. The 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 the. Failing to talk now. We are going to make our way to the painted world along. Did I not move it enough? No, I didn't. Yeah, this is the first DLC that was released for it, I think. It's an interesting place. It's a theme they carried on throughout all the games. But yeah, the painted world, from what I remember, is basically a prison. It's anything that the gods, so Gwen and his buddies, didn't like they just dumped in the painted world and left there and then you have these guys outside called known as the painting guardians you and these guys are to stop anybody getting near so to the left hand side yeah Ba -ba. I should be able to poise my way through most attacks now. Unless it's big, somebody big and smashy like myself. That one spotted me. Oi.
There we go, I'll just ignore them instead. Go into the cutscene. Oh no! And... And it's like nothing ever happened. And look, we start on a bridge with no way back. It's all nice and snowy as well. You even get a nice little snowy effect as you run around. Yep, it's a Mario painting. There we go. Bonfire. Painting is full of stuff like this, because like I said, it's meant to be a prison. And there's some freaky stuff in here as well. And I will probably forget how to fight up stuff in here. Some of it is weird. So, door first, is the door open? I'm guessing no. Nope, it does not open from this side. And yeah, there are some other stuff in here that exist only as a a reference to Demon Souls because FromSoft like to reference themselves. So that ugly thing there. Oh! Like I said, there's some freaky stuff in here. And we've got toxic. I forgot there was toxic in here. But I don't even have any cure things on me, do I? No. So yeah, that freaky looking thing surrounding the pillar is a Demon Souls boss. Luckily, Toxic is nowhere near as bad as it used to be now. Now I've got masses of health and some decent resistances. So. Is this bit of jump? Don't think you can jump that gap. This is what's in here. Oh look, it's a rat. Two rats. And they are white instead of the normal black rats. And he's running away as well. The rat is scared. Uh, could actually hit it. There. Soul of a brave warrior. Nothing too useful down here. Up we go. So how do you get to that then? Is it a jump? Let's give it a go, shall we? Can't walk it. Maybe from here. Wow, oh, this toxic's gonna kill me. I might have to swap out for the sword for this place. Nah. 
Nah, I'm not making that jump. There must be like somewhere else to get to it, maybe from the roof or somewhere. It's way up to the roof. these fire breathers. Are they fire breathers? Yeah, they look like it. And then we've got an archer out there, so... Oh, it is this way. That drops nice and down, so we'll do that. No ladder or anything. I'm just gonna go as far as I can before the toxic kills me. Because it is going to. I don't think I've got. Uh, nah, I've got nowhere near enough healing to outlast it. Got another fire breather. He's just stuck on that side. That was a roll, not a jump. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, I made that jump. There is a ladder. Cool. Quick check, make sure there's nothing this way. Oh, there is. We have an egg vermifuge. So those things are... You remember the weird guys with the, like, eggs on their backs from... Uh, down when we fought Better Chaos? <laughs> Peep peep poo poo. 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 Slash. Slash. Peep peep poo poo. So yeah, the egg vermifuge is for like curing the worm infection. Peep peep poo poo. Ah, oh, it's the painting guardian stuff, so that's where you get it. Now we are in... an area with nothing. Back up the ladder we go. I can hear something moving around nearby as well, but... Walker knows where it actually is. Right, can you hear it? Right, uh, what was up? It was up this way I was going to go, wasn't it? I'm not lost, you are lost. I know exactly where I'm going. So. Oi! Sneaky bastards. So. There is. I can land on that. Ever so carefully. And then. Splat you. Or is this going to drop, just drop me in that little courtyard I was in? Yeah, it is. There's nothing useful here. Bleh. Oh no. There's rats here, apparently. Oh, this is a different courtyard. Come here, ratty. Mm -hmm. 
So this is going to be another place where everything just does toxic. Although it looks like I am going to survive this bout of toxic because... I've still got three Estus left. Yeah. Splat. I just need to not get hit by Toxic again. And there's an item there. I saw you. Gotcha. A gold coin. So down is... Yeah, that is the courtyard. What did this little guy drop? Humanity. If the rats have been eating corpses so long, so long they actually drop humanity. Right, up the ladder. And you... Where am I? There's another drop down there. What is this way then? Oh, that's the courtyard I was looking at. So if I go this way... This puts us... Back here. So I have literally just gone in a circle. Uh, no, I can't get to that item. I've got to go around to it somehow. This place is a maze. I think it's meant to be, but my brain is frazzled. Have I been this way? Yeah, I have. Right. Hey, my toxic is gone. Right, so you're another little courtyard. What's in here? We've got suspicious looking. Is that a dragon? Yeah, it is. It's a dragon in it. Got anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Anything around here? Did I hear dragon? Dragon do his nuts across your face. Right. <laughs> the hell was that? Lost things up there. Right, let's go inside then. Ah! Wow, you're ugly. Ugly ass bird people. Right. So up first or down? Let's go up. Anything on this level? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Did not see you there. Go away. Those things are creepy. So further up, all the way, we'll get you. Oh, there is an item on that level. Gotta keep an eye out for the rest of the bird people. Now we've got actual crows. And an item. Red side and stuff, so that's for fighting other people. Use that to put your sign down and other people can see it in their world and call you in to fight you. Grab this. Soul of a Brave Warrior. And then go 
Or this way. Now we go down. Try to see what's at the bottom. Because there is bound to be... Oh! Get away. Pretty sure that's a survivable fall, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. Bugger it. It is. Is there anything in here? Got a door. Locked. Got this that leads up here and what looks like a fog door. Or a boss door, I should say. So, have a bit of a lock around before we actually go through the boss door. Just in case. Oh, I didn't even need to fall. I could have literally just run down here. I'm a muppet. Right. Through the fog gate we go then. See what there is. With zero healing. We have... The Demon Souls boss. I've forgotten this thing's name, I think, whoa, I think it's called Phalanx, something like that. I wonder if I can just funnel on through this door. Oof. If I actually swing and hit them. Nah, I'm going to die in a second. Depends how many uses that ranged attack they get. Enough. <laughs> so that would be phalanx. Yeah, I got there with absolutely no healing. And yeah, they just... You're literally fighting like... 15, 20 at once, so... You can be broken down as well. How do I get to you? Or is there more of this going to open up at some point? Yeah, there is. After a fight phalanx, it looks like. So, yeah, great sword has the stab. We shall try and use the stab to avoid toxic. It is not brilliant. Better range than Dragon's Tooth, at least. Did I miss these stairs last time? I don't remember going up these stairs. I did. And that's how I get that as well. Cool. Dried Finger. Oh, one of you. Oh no, I'm going to get attacked by everything now. Right, this is going to take a few more hits than... Dragon's Tooth, because it's not fully upgraded, but... 
right, let's see. Nope. That toxic hit me immediately. So I'll bugger it, switch back to Dragon's Tooth it is. Range isn't going to help, so... Just bash on the biggest thing I've got. At least I can't get a more toxic one. The desert there. Failing to talk again. At least I can't get more toxic while I'm already hit by it. I've just got to be careful when I get to low health. Right. So. Nope. Not that way. Remember there are steps down to where I want to go. Go over here. Now I've got a chunk of health. What I think I'll do is go fat boy style. I will not be able to roll at all, but there. Much easier. hide behind this if I need to heal up. Say so that I'm already out of Estus. Get deaded. Screw you guys, I'm going to try and open the door. Open, 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 open. Yeah, did it. Not yet. I am on my way to winning, or trying to be. Right, does Phalanx, yeah, Phalanx fully respawns. Right, let's take all of it out. Try to. Big hammer mode. Just 
break already. There, done. At least I've got the shortcut now. Can do a bit more exploring. So, what's up this way? Got stairs down and around and a ladder. Because that's not ominous looking. What? Fuck you guys. I thought you were all gone. Bastard ball wheel skeletons. Look, another one. Mm. Yeah, but are you winning at house flip? No. That's why nobody likes the ball wheel skills. That very attack. And I can't even see where the other one went. Oh, it is just a bone wheel skeleton stood on top of the... Come here. Yeah, the fancy item I was looking at. Are there any more of you? Do I have to be careful? Gimme. Soul of a brave warrior. That altar is down here. That, that looks like a fake wall. If anything ever looked like a hidden wall, it's that. There better not be other skeletons. But I can see a bone wheel skeleton again. Come on, put this way. There. Tell you what. I don't usually use these for this, but this time I am, just because fuck bone wheel skeletons. We got an annex key. All the wrong controls again. Annex key. Key to the Annex in the painted world of Ariamis. In the wintry painted world there is a structure resembling an old cathedral. Its Annex serves as a type of storehouse. So we have a key to the Annex. We just need to find the actual Annex now. Guessing you're another hidden wall. Yeah. I'm just wary of bone wheels everywhere. Whichever developer decided that putting bone wheel skeletons in a closed space was a good idea. Needs a good slap. Like they were bad enough in a big open pit where you could dodge them. You. I wonder if I got anything I can throw. No. Bugger. Oh, can survive at max range, just. 
and you give me fire surge which is actually really good pyromancy it's a flamethrower right so that's you sorted now to head back I remember where to go this way there you are a mechanism what is this <gasps> more gates opened all the gates opened another shortcut I've just unlocked. Please be another shortcut. So, go back around. No shortcuts. No, Dark Souls is all about shortcuts. They're all over the place. Especially in Dark Souls 1. Hundreds of them. Oh, look. That's where we can knock that down. Where am I going? way so we have we opened up more shortcuts cool right, what's over here more of you guys so the thing I knocked down was over this way, wasn't it? Huh. Well, no, there's an item over here, but... What else have we got? With a couple of dudes. And even more items. We've got Soul of a Proud Knight. Soul of a Proud Knight. He's like, are these cages? Yeah, they are. More cages. More items. this way. No, this is pretty much just an item stash, isn't it? Oh well. We did drop her, knock down an item out here, didn't we? Yeah, this one. What are you? Humanity. Where else have we got to go? So we've been in through there. We have a key to an annex. Need to figure out to find where that key goes. This is. Yeah, this led to the swampy bit. Look at a well. Right. Oh, 
We've got a wall with a couple of bits on it. Nothing really down there. You're just the edge of the world. And we got Ring of Sacrifice. They're always handy. So now we go down the well. Let's see what's in there. Probably nothing good. Oh. Or is it just... Whoop! Bone Wheel Skeleton, I saw you. Fuck yous. I would sit on them, but... I can't. Is this just a bit I missed down here? It is, isn't it? So you're the ladder out the well. I did, I just missed a bit. Now, hi, Tempsey. How are you today? Were you hungover from being tipsy, Tamsi? Ah, so this is the shortcuts that I opened. I can just go straight this way now. What is along here? Got. Archer. Oop. Oop. Another random hollow. Oh look, there's a big knight over there as well. Take this guy out. Let's try and take these guys out before I get murdered. I'm sure I just heard that guy jump down. Yep. Big Smashy versus Big Smashy. Oh, close! <laughs> no hangover. That's alright then. Right, I think I've opened up all the shortcuts I need for this place now. So, first we will go... and inspect that suspicious looking dragon I've not been to. And we will ignore the fuck out of these guys because I've already fought you once. And all you dropped was a crummy little shield. So now we go up here. And Sherald. Oh Sherry, yeah, I'm in the painted world. I got lost a couple of times, but I've opened the shortcuts now, so I just have entirely legitimate and not suspicious at all looking dragon. Who totally didn't just twitch. Right, come here, you bastard. Berg. Ow! Oh, he does a charge. Right. <laughs> Dragon D's nuts across Sharon's um, face. No, not for this one. Although I'll just... He's probably not too bad compared to everything else in here. So I'll just run him. Or are you talking about the one that's near Firelink? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean now. You jump and you basically go past him and you can drop right down to the person at the end. 
But yeah, this guy's getting punched in the face instead. Come on, get up, I saw you twitch. But now, if I run back this way... Does he follow? Yeah, he does. How far are you going? Is it here? Alright. This guy's going to be no problem. That hurt him. See how much damage I'm doing. Oh, that's going to be toxic, isn't it? Did I get him? Yeah. Alex is special. Dragon scale. Blood shield. Ooh, which one's that one? Blood shield. Blood shield spoken of in the Lost Legends. The red of blood is slightly enchanted and boosts various resistances. Yeah, cool. And yeah, this is the one you were talking about, weren't you, Ta Sherry? The dead one. The dead one that is moving. Yeah, anybody can change the colour. See, this thing moves, but attacking it does nothing. I think it's just there for decoration. Right. Down we go. We've got... We've got the big knight on the bridge. We need to smack in the face. And then whatever is beyond there. Oh yeah, the archer. Although the fact that the other archer can reach you here from here is really annoying. There. And there we go, you guys. No. Oh, there we go. Got him. Uh, we shall see, Sherry. Because I can't exactly remember what happens at the end of this. <sighs> this is Alex from the worst timeline. So we go through the quite obvious boss fog door. And we see a pretty lady with quite a big scythe. And a tail. Because... <laughs> fluffy tail. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? She wants to talk to us. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. 
So she says if you you're here for her then Thou talk. must returneth whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of Are you thee, telling me that's not what Light Sherry looks like? From the plank and hurry home. I'm pretty sure that's what she looks like. Thou must return it. Right, it's all she can say. Right, let's uh Charge up. Why does She didn't like that. Now where is she? Oh look. There. Got you. And this is crossbreed Priscilla. Because she is a crossbreed. She's also quite weak. But yeah, Priscilla is a crossbreed because she's part dragon. They like experimenting with dragons in these. And then we have the exit. Supposed to be a playable character, I didn't know that. But I knew she was always planned to be in it. I didn't know they, had, they planned to add her as a playable character. So, we are back in our Orlando and they even give us a homeward bone so we can get home easily. Which I am going to use. So... Now we need to get to the other DLC. Yes, return to last bonfire. And then we shall just warp. Um, oh yeah. No firekeeper. So, I've got Artorius of the Abyss. I've got the Woods. And I've got a new Londo. And I think that's it. I'm just going this way because there's a bonfire this way. Uh, so yeah, Taurus at the base. The woods, new Londo. And I think that is everything then. So we're going to head for Taurus at the base now. I've just got to remember where to get the stuff. I think I know it need to go to the woods anyway, because you're gonna beat the Hydra first. So we need to make our way to Andre, isn't it? No, Calamite's part of Artorius the Abyss. It's part of that DLC. So Let's see what Soul of Priscilla says while we're dumping everything else in here. I'll tell you what I am going to do though. I'm going to take these homeward born, this homeward born out so I've got one. Soul of Priscilla. Soul of Priscilla the crossbreed trapped inside the painted world of Ariamis. Special beings have special souls, use the soul of crossbreed, bastard, child, and antithesis to all life to acquire a huge amount of souls or create a unique weapon. But creating the unique weapons in Dark Souls 1 is a pain in the ass. Because you have to get a normal weapon up to like plus 15, I think it is. Or plus 10, and then you ascend it into the special weapon. So many broken straight swords. Great sword plus ten. Dragon tooth is what I've got equipped. Kite shield. Blood shield can go in there. Great shield will keep. Put 
these away. I think that's everything, is it? Oh yeah, and the maiden stuff as well. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing the Wanderer coat, so... We need to walk to... Yeah, it's just Firelink, isn't it? And we shall start the stuff. We're going into Artorius of the Abyss. Um. So, we're going to go to Dark Root first. Got to kill the Hydra there. Then we're going to find the Golem and then back again. So we're going to do a bit of back and forth. So let's go and see Andre. Oh yeah, it's level up as well. I've got enough for a level. 35 and we are level 80 yes yeah, sherry if you play dark souls 2 not dark souls 1 you have to play dark souls 2 Let's go and see Andre. So, this way we have Andre. We'll see if we can upgrade anything with him. I don't think we'll be able to. Might be able to upgrade the great sword a bit actually. <laughs> Hi Grey! And welcome everybody from Grey's Raid. How did you enjoy the cat lady? Are you super suitably freaked out by her? And all the other messed up stuff that happens in that game. Hi, Bunny. Can someone do a shout out for Grey if they could? <gasps> you got to murder somebody. Nice. So, modify. Oh, I can make my shields better. And it only costs one large Titanite Shard. Let's do it with a big shield. And now I just need more large Titanite Shards for stuff. Which he doesn't sell. Don't get your right. Yeah, the Cat Lady is a cool game. I remember watching a let's play of it a while back and it is messed up in so many ways but it is interesting now enjoy your food so we are going to go into dark route for the first time this place is nice it even has little lights to show you the way And then you have trees. Angry trees. That do very little damage to me. We are in Dark Root Garden. So, so this way. Oi. 
I heard you. Gotcha. We want to be going down, which is this way. Or there are useful things in this direction. And yeah, this whole this entire game is really dark. Like it's really hard to see stuff sometimes. So this is dark root base. Oh, <gasps> you are a little glow lizard. Oh, he was too close. Ah, well, I don't need the little glow wizards. I've got everything leveled up as far as I need it for it. So. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there was a drop-off for an item. Oop. Fell off again. My brain just isn't working. There, we get leather armor, and a bow, and arrows. So, if I carry on going this way, it's around here. Because everything just continues going down and down and down. So that bit leads to... Woods, so we will go this way. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, this way. Down here we have a friend! But he's only a little one. So I can literally just smack him in the face. We have a tunnel. And then... An item. Grass Crest Shield. Everybody loves this shield. Because... Old media metal shield of unknown origin, the Grass Crest is lightly imbued with magic, which slightly speeds stamina recovery. So if you wear the Grass Crest shield on your back, you don't even have to have it in your hand, you still get the recovery. Unfortunately, I fat roll with it. So I won't be using it. But it is a very cool item. And here we have a bonfire. Which is what I was looking for. Carry on going this way. We have what looks to be an elevator. This just take us right to the, like the actual bottom. Oh, comes out here. I did not know there was an ele elevator that goes to here. But these guys are the Drakes. I have fought a bunch of these guys recently to be able to upgrade my weapon. There is actually something else we can fight along the road. So, break down. <laughs> I completely forgot that elevator existed. So 
So these guys have a nice big swooping attack. However, they will occasionally just drop themselves over the edge. But yeah, these were the things that I was farming to upgrade my weapon. Get dragon scales from. So they drop dragon scales, but it is a low chance. So I just piled up on humanity until I could get to get it. And then we have another totally not suspicious, very, very dead looking dragon. This guy totally isn't going to come to life like the other one. So, I'm going to get the first hit in. Oh, that actually did a fair bit. And yeah, this guy spews out poison, I think. Ah, oh, bugger it. Let's just smack him until he's dead. There. That'll teach him. We get a dragon scale. We get a store of straight sword, dragon crest shield, and soul of a proud knight. So. Dragon Crest Shield. Shield of a Nameless Light Knight, likely a high ranked Knight of Astora, one of the enchanted blue shields. The Dragon Crest Shield greatly reduces fire damage. And then the sword. This is a Faith Sword. It's a really cool one. So, Astora Straight Sword. It's a regular thrusting weapon. Straight sword of an unknown knight, likely one of Astora's superiors. High quality weapon with a powerful blessing. Right, let's go back up that elevator. Because I was supposed to be going to Dark Root Basin. So, so far we've killed this stream, the Wandering Demon in the Asylum, uh, Priscilla the Crossbreed, and then we shall see who we find next. Up here. So this is where this tunnel goes. So I just need to go up and round it looks like. Just going down isn't taking me anywhere. Towards the trees. What's in here? Is this the place? That, yeah, this has all the crystal guys. This is exactly what I was looking for. So before we go any further, because you can see the Hydra over there being all wavy and stuff. We have a friend to go and meet. And we're going to have a proper duel because... Me and this guy are using similar... It's locked. Why do I not have the key to that? Oh well. Crystal. I missed. A soldier, right? Let's go and kill all these crystal things, and then we will go and bash the Hydra. The Hydra is who we're here for. Up, 
we're close enough for him to do his water attack. Oh, he's killed one of the crystal guys for us. Ow. Big crystal dude. We want to take this guy out because I really don't want to fight the Hydra while trying to dodge this guy as well. There. Is that all of them? Right. Come on, Hydra. It is fight time. I've already killed your brother, your cousin, whatever you want to call it. Down at the bottom of Ash Lake. So that leaves you. Hey. Well, I know you're not technically a boss, but... Oof. Oh, that's not even a safe spot. Right, probably we'll just go forwards. There we go. So... I need to wait a bit later before I... There. Yeah, this guy ain't lasting long. Oi! You are supposed to be attacking me with your heads. Supposed to do that when they attack me properly. Missed. Oh, night nice stuff. They keep catching me on the roll. There. Right, one more. Bugger off. No! There. Got ya. Bleh. So. That's that dead. And we got a dragon scale and we got the dusk ring as well. And the dusk ring grants extra sorcery castings but halves your HP. If you really want to do a glass cannon build, that is a ring for you. Right, so, we have done him. Now we need to go and find the golem, which is around here somewhere. See what? Seeing as we've got it. Rusted iron ring. I can now move as normal. And unfortunately Dark Souls is a shit game because there's no, no hidden items behind the waterfall. It's rubbish. Every game that has a waterfall should have hidden items behind it. It is a rule. So, there should be... 
a golem around here. Or not. Where are you? Or do I need to bonfire and then you appear? I can't remember. Yeah, no, but there should always be stuff behind waterfalls. But this time there isn't. So. Why are you not here? Right, let's go up the waterfall instead then. Because there is a ladder here. So I think I might need to bonfire and like reload the area before the golem I need to kill reappears. Quite a cool waterfall effect for its time though. Like with actual bits splashing out of it and stuff. Dun, 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 up the world's tallest ladder. Is there even a bonfire up here? I can't remember. We have a bridge. And we have another ladder. And a knight. Soul of a brave warrior. There better be a bonfire up here. All I want to do is reset the area. Got Back in dark regard. So, obviously not going to be a bonfire this way. Let's check this way. More plant dudes. And I'm failing at targeting them as well. Blood red. Tell you what, screw these guys. Homeward bone. So sit at the bonfire to reset it. Now we will make our way back to the lake and see if the golem that is supposed to be there is there. It better be, otherwise I am at a loss as how to start the DLC and I might have to look it up. So, there should only be crystal golems this time. Should. Splat. And another one. And another one. I should have just swung like I did with the last one. And another one. Now, blue tight night junk. Now, if I go around the edge this time. Better be a golem here. Said there better be a golem here. There is. Hello, golem. And you are a special gold one as well. 
But I missed. Hey, look. And here is our prize. There was a woman inside the golem. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope Wizards. is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? I'm going to say yes. Even though I can't learn magic stuff. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. And she's gone. Stab her. No, I'm not allowed to stab her. So now I need to go back to... Seath's place. I need to go back to the archives. Ah, uh, bugger it. I'm not bothered about the souls. Just take the shortcut back. Dun, 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 dun. So I need to go to the archives. Painted world to the Duke's archives. Now, which bonfire does this drop me at? This one. So we have some backtracking to do. Fuck you. Is it this way? Because we have to go back to the end. Oh no, it's the elevator that's over here, isn't it? Beep 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 That was a bit of a rubbish backstab. Right. So Pull the lever. We. Then. here. This is the wrong one. I am confused. Right, what's at the bottom on this side? This is the way. Caster man is here. Come on, drop the staff, drop the staff. Now. Nah. So there should be a crystal dude in here. If I kill him now, 
He should give me the item that I need. Got it. Broken pendant. So, broken pendant is... Half of a broken stone pendant. The vine appears to originate from Ulaseel. The power of the magic can be sensed from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air of both reverence and nostalgia. So now we go back down this way because there's a bonfire just here. And we'll be able to access the DLC. And then we might even get another boss done before Brina goes live. Because he's starting to get eight, I think. So we need to go back to Dark Root. Which is Um we don't have a shortcut there, so we will go to Firelink. Because I might have a key. Um, right, we're going to unequip these for a start. Check the keys. Annex in the Painted World, Archive Tower Prison, Archive Tower Cell, Sense Fortress, New Londo in the Bra Drake Valley, Needs to Blight Town, Lower Berg to Depths, Undead Berg. Residences. Undead Asylum, Asylum, Dungeon Cell, right, so, we need to get to Dark Root again, um, which was the easy way to Dark Root. I'm just going to have to run past Andre again. Blech. See, the warping is handy in this game to get to, like, major areas, but... You still have to do a fair bit of running. While in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3, you can pretty much... You can warp to any bonfire you like. Like, literally, as soon as that bonfire is lit, it is yours and you can warp there. And it is so much handier. Especially for running around like this. I don't know how anybody ever worked this out. Hi back. I have the DLC thing. I am heading back to Dark Root. And I was just saying, my Brina starts at eight, so I might even be able to get another boss in before Brina starts. We shall see. Target these guys before swinging. Nope. I am saving Sif till later. I am gonna do the DLC first so I can get the special cutscene. Just because I like that cutscene. So 
So it does mean I have to do the entirety of the DLC before doing Sif and the rest of it, but... Ah well. Come here, little lizard. Oh, you drop chunks. Chunks will come in handy. Now we go this way. And we are back in Dark Root with the Crystal Guys. And I am just whiffing everything at the moment. Yeah, I've not even done Moonlight Butterfly or anything like that yet. Like, this entire area is untouched apart from Hydra. Titanite chunk. So, if I go over to this rock, I'm sure it's around this rock where you can say hello to Dusk. Or maybe not. Ah oh well. Time for a funky cutscene. Oh, it even left me my souls over there. Dun 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 Oh look, that's a swirly thing. I wonder what the swirly thing could be. Let's go and investigate the swirly thing. What are you? Like all sensible t people, we just reach out and touch it and... Oh, and a big hand grabs us. And drags us in. Now the swirly thing is gone. So yeah. Let that be a lesson to you. If you find something weird and swirly, your first instinct should not be, let's touch it and see what it does. Right. Put you away. Got plenty of souls. Uh, I don't think I'll need any of these. Keep all the upgrade materials with us. There's a shield I can dump in here that was in my inventory. Where's it gone? Leather shield can go in. And I picked up the night set as well, which can also go in here. Oh yeah, crystalline stuff. Leather stuff. And then... Ponder, uh, uh, we got the night stuff as well. So, that's the inventory cleared up a bit. Let's go fight a boss, shall we? Because look, there's a fog gate right here. Sanctuary Guardian, who is quite obviously a chimera. 
So how does this guy work? He's got a lightning breath. He's got a jump. Is that some sort of breath? And he's got a combo. Alright, he's not too bad. Yeah, that's like a front attack, isn't it? Ah! Who said you could do that? This is the combo. Combo did a fair bit as well. And he's gonna swoop. And now I'm poisoned because of his tail. Nice. This guy is pretty strong. But I can kill him in a couple of hits, but he's also doing a fair bit of damage to me. Bam those heels, shall we? Gotcha. So yeah, they ramped up the damage a bit. And I got souls and some humanity. And I got poisoned for it as well. back to the bonfire? Yeah it is. May as well sit at the bonfire. So I don't think we got a soul off him. Oh we did, we got a guardian soul and it's golden. Soul of the white winged lion sanctuary watchkeeper who dreaded the spread of the abyss. The guardian exhibited traits of several animals other than lions suggesting that it was no ordinary beast but cl rather closer to the beings known as demons. God gamer. Oh yeah, I've got enough for a level as well. More health. Can I bump that up to 39? I should have enough souls to do it. Brave warrior, how much are you? Yeah. Got plenty. So I'll use two more of those. That'll get me another level. And even more health. There we go. It's now 40,000 for a level up. Go this way and see what there is, shall we? We have a fancy tunnel, some stairs, and a sanctuary, and another bonfire straight away. Now we have a wobbly mushroom. See what the mushrooms got to say. Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's saviour. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying prime. Yeah, I think you missed the DLC. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the saviour? Um, 
Yeah, right, we'll rescue the princess. Thank you. I am like a proper knight should. Guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the source of all a seal. Well, this lady is nice. She sells repair powder, gold pine resin. She sells all this cool sorcery, including three of the best ones. Cast light, repair and chameleon. She also sells a catalyst. Thou shalt see for an abyss was begat of the ancient beast. Night Artorius without it. So yeah. Artorius came to this place to fight the abyss. Because this place is getting ruined by it. And yes, there is a repair spell. Wizards get all the cool toys. Same in Dungeons and Dragons, to be honest. Like, if you're a wizard and you can craft spells to do cool stuff, why would you not craft spells to do all the useful things that everybody else does? It's like, ah, I could go to a blacksmith and get my armor fixed or I could just make a spell to do it instead like even in Dungeons and Dragons you have things called cantrips which are spells so easy to cast you can do them infinitely and they're all stuff that you would just find useful day to day. So there's like one called Prestigitation. And it is literally like you can light lights with it. You can put lights out. You can flavor food with it. Because you basically like magically conjure spices and stuff. And you can also use it to clean things. So like, yeah, there's a, there's a wizard who just, just couldn't be bothered doing the washing up. So he made a spell to do it for him. And now it's like one of the most common known spells in D&D. Because wizards are lazy like that. Right, so. This place is pretty. Look at all these orange flowers and stick men trying to attack me. And then a large stone man trying to attack me. So yeah, Big Hat Logan was like that. Big Hat was like, oh yeah, I need to make some useful spells. And he literally in invented one that works the same way as a homewood bone. It's like, uh, I could go looking for homewood bones or buy them. Or I could just make a spell that does it instead. So. Guardian leggings. We have a bridge. Is there anything else around here? So there is a way, that way, let's go up a bit, see what's over here, because I proper rushed through this DLC the first time I did it, but I just did all the fights with someone, so this is the way I've been, so we need to go over here. So many enemies. Wow. 
Did not know about that attack. Gotchas. Right, what's over here? We have another starred man and another twig man. And he's a slow swinger as well. Right, so that's like a lift up thing. Eh. Right, let's go back to it. So we've explored the left bit. We just need to go right now where all these big stone things are. See what's there. So we will follow the right hand side instead. Hey, I got his weapon, the four-pronged plough. Which is just like a... A pitchfork. Everybody knows it's a pitchfork, you don't need to give it a fancy name. Right, so the right-hand side leads me to... Here. Got a building. Got in here. Oh, me falling to my death apparently. Right. To the right we go again. Follow the little light up flowers and don't fall in the hole this time. So there is a hole there, Aaron. Go up this instead. It's up here. It's an item gauntlets. So this is obviously a shortcut back for later on. There's another building there, so let's just follow the edge around. See what we can find. More light up flowers. That'll be the bridge that I saw be there there before. Hi Kelly. So the name of that town in Wales. The one on the little Isle of Anglesey with a stupid long name is Wow, look at that dragon. Don't he look friendly? Anyway, the name of that town is Chlanvaya Pochwing Gyrchugeru Hwindrobo Chlantasilio Gogogoch.
Little bug. Got him. And a chunk. So. I hear thunder. We follow that. More of these guys. He's got scissors. So if I go... Can I go left? No, this is kind of blocked off. Unless I want to jump it. Do I want to jump it? Hey, it's one of you guys. Ah, so that's what he does when he picks it up. So he must have just walked off the edge to come towards me. So we are going to follow the pretty lights. It's over here. We've got a big hole in the ground. And these crystals. Crystals always indicate curse somehow. Like if you get cursed in this game and in Dark Souls oh it's way up there. In Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3, if you get cursed. Oh, they're actually gardening. Ah. These ones aren't even attacking. Alright, that one is. Now he's seen us. Dick. I was admiring your gardening work. So now we have two of the big stone guys. <laughs> and he's going to do the big... Oh no, he didn't do the big explosion. This one is low. Right, let's take you out. with a little bit of health left. So. Then we got you with all your health. What did you drop? Twinkling Titanite. Oh yes. Ducking under his attack. I absolutely meant to do that on purpose because I am a pro gamer. It wasn't entirely accidental at all. So you look like some sort of big arena. But I can't see any way across. Unless we go all, all the way through that town. So let's have a look and see what's in this building. We have an elevator going down it looks like. A magic elevator. And you go to a fog door. Fog door means a boss. Especially a big fog door. So, let's do a little bit of exploring. And we will see if I can get another boss in. See if I can make it for this stream. What we got here. Are you a secret wall? Nope. Are you a secret wall? Nope. You. Big fog door. Is that a bonfire over there or is it just a dude? I think it might just be a dude. Ah, 
and I know exactly where this leads. So, this is the way up and down. Oh yeah, this is on the other side. Cool. So back down we go. And I'm just going to see what's across this bridge. Oh yeah. It is the Bloodborne character. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes, I was. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Now, let's see what he's got to sell. Um, I don't know if he can get his outfit. This guy, however, sells really useful stuff. Like, we've got blossoms, moss clumps, knives, firebombs, homeward bones, humanity, and arrows. Did you happen across Night There probably is, you know, Alex. The legendary Abyss Walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colourless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> right. So long. Bye. Let's go have a look through this fog door, shall we? Because... This is going to be a boss. I know this is going to be a boss. Oh yes. This is the guy from the cover art. Yeah, Forestus. I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Especially considering who this is as well. But watch his moves. This is Artorius the Abyss Walker. Oh, he does two flips. Right, what's this gonna be? Is this just like a power up or something? Tell you what, I might actually survive this. He says, getting stabbed. Not bad though. So. Bye Vestas. Let's go. <laughs> Retroactive God Gamer. I've got a couple of minutes, let's see if I can sprint back to him and have another shot. Like my damage output is massive, it's my health that's the problem at the moment. Because he's probably doing as much he's doing as much to him as the blah 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 blah. Failing to talk again. He's doing as much to me as I'm doing to him. So if I can get a couple of decent dodges in, or a few decent dodges in, I could probably beat him. Now, 
is this elevator active or do I need to go? Yeah, this elevator is still inactive. It must go somewhere else. So we can continue running this way. Also, did I put... Eh, I'm a Muppet as well. Should have put... Chloranthering back on. Or maybe Steel Protection. Let's put Steel Protection on and give it a go. Like, I'm not sure how much of Artorius's attacks count as physical. But we shall see. Now I've got one more Estus and some more physical defense. But yeah, the, the single Morestus is what'll do it. Dun, 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 dun. And I've seen a couple of his attacks. I've just got a... Oi. Oi. Right, I'm going to have the same amount of Estus then. Just going to run past all these nerds. Was it even this way? Am I going the right way? Don't think I am, you know. I am not going the right way. Oh no I am, it was down this elevator wasn't it? Oop. No. Exactly what I didn't want to do. So it is in that building. So after I get across the little gap, I need to stick to the right. This will be our last run. We shall just leg it. Give it one more go. And then Brina should be live and we will raid on over to Brina. I can't even remember what he's supposed to be playing today. Whether it was more dark water or whether he was going to play some XCOM. It is one of the two. These guys are dicks. More XCOM. I can't remember whether I'm still injured in it or not. I'm pretty sure I got injured on the last mission. If not dead. So I just need to lug it to that building. <coughs> well, you'll definitely be dead. You're a woman. He just kills off all the women automatically. Right, so... It was to the right. It's alright Kelly, it took him about 10 years to spell my name right, so... You've got a bit of waiting yet.
quick, run, run. And then block yourselves in the door. There. That was perfect. Right, what I will do, just to be cheeky this time, I will use one of my many humanities. <laughs> yeah, it'll be uh, here lies Hilly and Kerry and Adam. I was going to say Wayne as well, but I couldn't think of an alternate that was close to Wayne. Eh. Leave me alone, Artorius. All I want to do is heal. There. That one was two. That was three. He switches it up a bit. Right, let's top off. Yeah, mix him up with Baz. Or Warren. Right then. What's next, Artorius? You doing flippy stuff? You're gonna charge? Or are you just gonna wander around in a small circle? Right. Wow. Took me out in pretty much a single spin. Right. We shall leave it there for today. We will come back and get Artorius next time. But it looks like he mix up, mixes up his combos. He did the flip three times that time. And that spin hit me twice. So. That is it for today. Well, he should be live. So we will... Dick around for a few minutes then. Have a look. Either that or I'll annoy him and raid somebody else. Sing you a song. Um, Um, what to sing? Hey, Bart, it's Manu there. I have a plan. Manu, Manu, Manu. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. There, that's as much song as you're getting. So yeah, I have not worked out what I am, what days I am streaming next week as well either. I have uh, had a look, and Tuesday is my late night. So I don't think anybody else is streaming on Tuesdays. So I might just do one at eight and do like a short one for a couple of hours or something. 
but I do have Wednesday, Thursday off, so I might do like a cheeky daytime stream on Wednesday or Thursday. I will have a look and see what I can do. But that is the plan for now. I might do one on Tuesday. Depends how knackered I am, but there's no guarantees. But there'll be definitely be one on Wednesday, maybe even Thursday as well. Fork knife. No, oh, you need to donate more points if you want me to play fork knife. You've got a bit to go yet. I'll tell you what, oh, I will. Extend it for you. So you have more time to try and make me play fork knife. Oh. Where is it? Um, channel points, challenges, fork knife stream. We will extend it for 30 days. If it'll let me. Why doesn't it want, not want to let me? Something went wrong. Try again. Right. I've extended it for 10 days and then... I have to like build it up or something. There, I have extended it for 29 days. So you're like a third of the way there. Um, it won't let me change the goal amount though, so tough. <laughs> but I'm still trying to add in a third day for streaming each week, so... It will make it slightly easier for you to get. And my streams have been longer recently. So you will just have to persevere. So where's that bollock Breener? He's supposed to be live by now. He's rubbish. Here we go, we'll put some music on for you as well, while we wait. I don't have any elevator music, otherwise I'd play that while we wait for Brina. So, see if this works. Uh, oh, he's rubbish! Right, tell you what then. Because Brina is rubbish. I will do a random bit of origami. Oh, another boss attempt. Right, we'll do another boss attempt then. So, what I'll do first, while Brina is billing it being a bollock, we are going to get a bit more Estus. Because I am slow and Artorius is pretty fast. So I'm guaranteed to take some hits. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So we are going to kindle. So, uh, 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 uh. away we go. Did I even run the right way then? Yeah, I did. So 
so we are just going to leg it. Give the boss another bash. Fuck these guys. But yeah, Artorius does all the fancy flippy shit because he's meant to be the badass of this game. Like he's called Artorius the Abyss Walker, is his title. Because he's literally just wandered into the Abyss to beat stuff up in there to stop it spreading. Because the Abyss is what does all the messed up. Like mutated humans and stuff. And he walked out again. And granted, he walked out with a broken arm and some heavy corruption, but he did walk out again because he's that much of a badass. Right, let's get going. Ah! You did not fall down last time. But yeah, he's one of Gwyn's... Ah, oh, thought I'd fall then. Uh, he is one of Gwyn's four knights. So there was Artorius. There was uh, Ornstein, who we fought earlier. There is a guy called Goth, who we will meet eventually. And there was a woman as well. I forgot the woman's name. Uh... I will probably remember it eventually. But they were all renowned for different things. So Artorius was just a badass who beat the shit out of the abyss and everything in there. No, leave me alone. Right. There. Goth was like a Superb archer. Um, who else was there? Yeah, Ornstein was the dragon slayer. Um, I can't remember anything about the fourth knight. For some reason. Right, how many flips are you doing? Two, three, five. One flip. Two flips. This is him powering up. Oh, he jumped over me. Right, come on, Artorius. That's the big spin move that killed me last time. Ew. Right, that flicking move, I don't mind. There's another explosion. Yeah, it is. See, that still caught me. No, so close. I just mistimed that last roll, otherwise I would have got him. That was definitely the last last attempt. You will all just have to wait for next time.
Because I am knackered now. I can feel my eyes being itchy and everything. So I'm going to give Brina until 20 past. And if he's not on by 20 past, I'm raiding somebody else. I want to go. I have a... I do have my plan for Dark Souls 2 as well once we've done with this. Like, part of the bet was Dark Souls 2, I'm going to have to do that using the Cestus, which are punching weapons. But I can use other stuff if I want to, so I am thinking of going for like a like enchanted Cestus. So, might not use any wizardry, but I might use Pyromancy for a bit. But it'll mean I can use ranged weapons and stuff as well. It just means my melee weapons have to be the Cestus. So I'll be punching away. And when I get around to the DLC, because the DLC for Dark Souls 2 is long. But there is another fist weapon you can get which lets you do like Street Fighter style moves. So I will probably use that as well if I get around to it. And then Dark Souls 3, I have not decided yet. I am tempted to let you lot choose. So like when it comes to Dark Souls 3, I might put a a vote up on the Discord or something and say, right, Dark Souls 3 is up next. What do I have to do? Yeah. Fists only, I am literally going to be in the boss's face and I'm gonna have to get really good at rolling like unless I start mixing it up with some ranged attacks and stuff as well whip only Dark Souls 3 is probably doable to be honest like, I can't remember where you get the whips in that game uh, Dark Souls 3 whips Yeah, Undead Settlement for the first one, Cathedral for the second, Archives for Flame One, Demon King gives you the Spotted Whip. Yeah, it's probably doable with a whip. Or even Twin Whips. If I can get older too. He better be coming on now. Or I'll throw bricks at him or something. Tell you what. For being late. And keeping me waiting. When I want to go and get food. When we raid over to Brina. You are all to go and do text spam. I do lots and lots of text spam for him. In fact, where is that one that Bart loves so much? So, uh, is he online yet? Let's have a look. Yeah, I was trying to find it, but I can't remember where I've put it. And yeah, Brina just puts text spam up at expensive because he can't be bothered. He doesn't want us to spam him, but we're going to do it anyway. And Kelly, you are a mod. You can refund your own text spam. So I will even show you how to do it later if you want. But you have to promise to be nice and not put dirty stuff in chat until Brina actually sets his uh, channel to mature. Otherwise you and him can still get in trouble. I don't know how many times I've told him to set his channel to mature. There. 
There we go. So if you all want to copy and paste that, that Manu has. And we will just do some text spam when we get into Brina's channel. Wherever he is. There he is. He's on mine now. The bollock. Well, we're all going to raid on over to Brina. And I am going to go get food. So, <laughs> we shall finish with timing out Kelly on Bart's request. And I will see you all soon. I might be on Discord later if any of you are on Discord. Bye everybody and remember to spam Brina.